360. But now I have to get it home. The problem is the Ferrari is located here. Now there's a Ferrari dealer located here in Orlando. But the issue is that I live here in Atlanta. That means I have to contend with 500 miles of Ferrari hating, rebel flag waving nothingness in the middle of nowhere. Will it break down? Probably. But fortunately, I came prepared. It's 11 a.m. and I haven't had any problems. Yet. But I'm vigilant. Because we all know that a used Ferrari is just waiting to explode. For the first hour, I really kept an eye on things. And soon I had a new challenge, pouring rain. Oh God, we're melting, we're melting. But it didn't melt. In fact, after two hours, things seemed to be going just fine. But just to be sure, I pulled into a gas station to check it out. Well, there's no problems up here, just a lot of bugs. Everything looks good in here. Oh. That's hot. Is it possible there could be nothing wrong? Still, I wasn't convinced, so I started looking around for flaws. The dome light is not working. Lousy Italian craftsmanship. But that seemed to be the only problem, so I started to loosen up. You and me, we come from different worlds. Ooh, an S6VR. And then I really loosened up. Eventually, we were home. I didn't even need to use my tool. Is it possible that this could be just like every other car except faster and louder and redder? We'll find out in the next few months. <laughs>